Hey guys, Cor here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to be a Spartan Spam. And this will work against Sparta, of course. Or it can actually work against any nation that brings a whole bunch of pikes, I guess. I mean, it depends on the units you bring and the units he brings, but mainly for Sparta. So this battle happened last night, and this guy thought he was going to win, and he was not. So I named it Spam 11111. Let's watch. So here you can see his army. He brought about uh, 14 Spartan pikemen. I didn't notice, you know. I kind of expected a um, spam, so I brought way more foot companions than I usually do. By one, I mean, and that's a lot for me. And I have four four axe pikemen. And trust me, those four axe pikemen are not to be underestimated because they are really good. They can actually. Um, I think they can fight better than most pikemen units. I'd recommend them. So I do also have Cav because you never know, Sparta could bring Citizen Cav which sucks but two is perfect for me. Even one could even be better but I'm off. I'm gonna be using my Cav to my advantage. So we're starting off here. I notice his army right away and he's in this really stupid formation. Here I'm looking at him right now. So my battle plan is I'm going to lead an attack to hit one side only and then while that side is getting crushed my other sides will start attacking on this forward once that side is crushed they will come assist my cab is to um, hit and run only when where it's necessary to be hit and also maybe delay some enemy troops from engaging this flank and I wish I had these stupid markers they had so I can show you it but that's the best I can explain it so there you go. My uh, men have very long spears, which gives them an advantage. But I, at first, I thought Spartan pikemen did not have long spears, but they do. It's the Royal Spartans that have the small spears, and that's when it comes to a huge advantage, because I can hit him way before he hits me. So my cab is going to go on the flanking route for now, and he's uh, he's going to notice that. He's going to be a little bit um, intimidated by it. So here we see the Spartan pikemen just chilling. Me and Spartan Pikemen. And it was snowing in this replay, but or in the game. Now it's not. So here I'm kinda um, I was talking to my uh, clan on TeamSpeak. So I was kinda telling them, describing how this battle was going a little bit like I'm also actually giving them the same plan. I'm like, okay guys, so I'm gonna go on this huge flank and win. So my formation is my foot companions on this side and 4x pikemen on the right flank, always on the right. I don't know why I don't not, not like the left, but I like them on the right. And so do my cab too. Unless necessary, I will put them on the other side. So here you go, my cab is making their little flank. He kind of does notice that, and I guess, you know, he tries maybe intimidating me for not going there, but that's not going to do much. This general unit is a hero of Sparta. You know, it is pretty deadly too. It's really hard to break. Kill. So there you go, you see he's getting a little bit of formation, he probably thinks I'm going for his general. Which honestly I would not since it's a hero of Sparta unit. I want to aim for destroying this huge line before I can engage with the Sparta unit. So there you go, you see he's turning his attention. I think one big mistake he had was having these um, Royal Spartans separated. He could have overwhelmed me in the flank with them because they're really powerful. Double so here we go. My plan now is because he has this kind of um, flank open, is these three are going to go engage right here, and then those two are going to engage these four. Because notice his formation. I have a longer line than him, which means more than one can engage. So now he notices this, and my cab will soon come into play. Oh, if you look down here at the balance of power, he has a lot more um, balance and power than me, I guess. But I don't think that should be taken into consideration at all, unless you're losing, of course. Speed! So here you go, I'm starting to make my quick movements into the battle. Kinda. Let's execute my plan. I didn't notice that there was a hero's Sparta unit here. I thought it was a Royal Spartan unit. So here we go, my men are gonna go and fight. I highlight all of them and use the steady ability. The steady ability will increase the damage weapon of these pikemen. I always do it right before I charge. Or right before I engage. 
All right, so he decides to go be dumb and use his hero party unit to hit my Cav, which he knew, I guess, I'm going to slam in the back. But luckily, Cav is super fast, and they outrun these guys. So now I'm going to go kind of flank this guy. I notice he's coming back, and I know that's not happening. And I don't know what he's doing right now. He looks like he's trying to flank me. And I kind of got scared at this point, because hero party unit is a pretty tough unit. So there we go. We're starting to engage. As you can see, his heavy fight going are dying. And here comes my cab doing some kick-ass moves right now. Now, unfortunately, I don't want to lag this video any much more than ready it can. I mean, we're running at 20 frames per second. That's good enough. So you can kind of get the picture what's going on. There you go. Here's Spartan unit dying. Royal Spartan's dying. Spartan Pikeman dying. More Spartan Pikeman dying. And as you see, as you see, I have not engaged this line, and he has not made any movements to go against me or even try to assist this flank. So here we go. I'm taking the opportunity to slam into this bag. Perfect time to continue riding these troops. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's a beautiful sight to see all these flags go white. So here you go. His um, He's bringing little reinforcements. I have not started engaging this huge line yet because I'm really focused on here. So, now here I go. I guess I'm going to wait on that. So now I'm going to start attacking. He starts moving up, so I'm like, oh no, oh no. I'm going to start attacking him now. My general is right here to use his powers. There you go. Oh wait, no, that's him. There you go.